hello guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's live stream so this will be about module 6 so this is the last module of the board exam which comprises of quality control quality assurance microbiology and public health and uh, as you might see in my thumbnail it nakalagay doon may diploma akong katabi because naisip ko yay diploma cutie na kasi malapit na akong graduate few months na lang I mean yeah like two months kasi mga jano June last week of June kami ka graduate so yeah and one of the hurdles na kailangan ko ma-accomplish would be to finish yung mock boards namin so we will have a mock board this weekend and uh, Hindi pa ako tapos mag-review pero inuna ko yung module 6 because we will have a oh we had sorry we had a quiz kanina like 5 pm about module 6 specifically on QA and QC so nag-review na rin ako so ayun uh, hitting two birds in one stone so finish ko na ito ang hindi ko pa lang na-review it is pharmacology uh ano pa ba um Tapos na sa module 1 and module 2. Eh. Pharmacology, yung module 5. Yeah, so, sana abutin. Kaya nin hanggang module 6. Or, I mean, masana matapos hanggang before Mac board so that I can practice. Uh, I tried to nahanapin kung meron akong pack-up green. Kasi sabi nila yung pack-up green daw talaga yung lumalabas for module 6. Hanapin ko may module, may kung may pack-up ako. Pero wala akong module 6 sa pa reviewer ko so yeah ang ginagamit ko talaga is currently is yung sa manor kasi maganda yung mga comprehensive exams nila and yung mga rational din nila maganda but of course i cannot like show it here in the ipad kasi nga it's a book so ipapakita ko yung book wait lang Ayan. So, ito yung pinaka lecture book nila. Di like that. May mga tabs siya pero wag kayong papalin lang. Hindi naman talaga ako review-review. Eh, may lang. Para lang kunyari. And then, we have the answers book. Answers book. Questions book. So, mas makapayo siya kasi no questions and then this one is magkatabi yung question and answer sa isang page so i thought actually i thought na parang pare pare pareho lang parang magkaiba lang yung format but once i check it magkaiba pala ang ang mga exams na nakalagay sa comprehensive exams at dun sa mismo exams so yeah mm, it, it's great na mag na mayroon din ako nito pero for the sake of this live stream magagamitin natin would be ara the manor or pack of green na sa quizlet and maganda siya kasi nga on flashcard style siya and it's easier to review so magre-review lang tayo very quick i really did this live for the sake of matapos or mabuo yung live stream ko na modules na may mga modules ako 1 to 6 and this will be the last live stream in the study with me board exam phase. Siguro my live stream ko na sa susunod would be a different type pero a study type pa rin siya. So, let's answer like maybe 50 questions. Let's go. So, most of the official drug containing calcium and zinc are assayed by what do you think? Calcium and zinc. I think this is complex symmetry. Yes, it's letter A, complex symmetry. Type of alkaloidal assay where the total alkaloids are determined. Total al alkaloids. Proximate. Dog. Limulus amoebocyte lysate or LAL assay is a method 
that is applicable in the determination of A. pyrogen, B. chemical impurity, C. microorganism, and D. heavy metals. So this is for pyrogen or letter A. The measurement of a base of a given sample by titration with a standard acid. Sorry, my iPad or my share screen is catching up. Yan. Kapag ang standard ay acid, that's acidimetry. Kapag acid ang standard, acidimetry. Error A. Let's just wait na mag-catch up yung share screen ko. Okay. So, the following compound or acid by acidimetrically except So, if acidimetry, ang titanate mo is acid, therefore, ang analyte mo, yung compound na inaassay mo, would be a base. Should be a base or a different compound. Therefore, except to, so citric acid. Letter C. Then, which of the following substances is acid by residual alkalimetric analysis residual alkalimetric analysis therefore ang titrant mo would be alkaline it's a base so ang gagamit ang iaassay mo would be a um, acid but in this case it's not hydrochloric acid but it's aspirin kasi pag the hy uh, hydrochloric acid that would be on direct So, the common sampling plan that uses master tables to interpret the result, master table, so that would be a military standard. C. Next would be materials to be sampled include the following except. Sinasample ba ang final product? Yes. Sinasample ba ang record? No. <laughs> Paano mo isasample ang record? So, that would be records. Letter B. So, the process of removing an appropriate number of items from a population in order to make interference to the entire population is called kumuha ka ng part of the population. So, that would be sampling. I don't know what happened. Hmm, nag-iba ng type. I hope you can see it. Most of the official... Hmm, parang uulitin niya to. Kasi naka-free yung quizlet eh. Let's just use here yung nasa baba para... Para walang epal. Do may kita nyo na answer. But let's just uh, get the rationale behind it. Para sure. Para sure. Uh, 
is so hot oops so the process of removing an appropriate number of items that would be sampling a tool for detecting a variation in process a tool would be the quality control uh, quality control chart so the quality control department is important to a ensure uniform production of high quality product safeguard public health and ensure that the product complies with the FDA requirements so that's all of the above the function of quality control include the following except the answer here is auditing because auditing would be part of the role of the quality assurance the manager i can actually do this right the manager is in charge of the following except specification and assay development analytical testing laboratory research and development studies and biological testing so the answer is a specification and assay development kasi nga manager na siya qc manager na siya next is first in first out policy must always be observed to a and assures that the oldest stock is used first b prevent contamination and mix up materials and c contain information regarding the activity of the active ingredient and d prevent microbial spoilage so obviously fifo or first in first out is about the stocks inventory solar a the kijal dal i don't know how you pronounce this Kijaldo, Kijaldo method is of analysis is used to determine <laughs> nasa quiz to kanina <laughs> nitrogen C so the assay of con cause sorry <laughs> so the ash content of an organic compound of an ulit na bubulol na ako so the ash content of an organic compound is an impurity of It's um, inorganic matter. The iodine value of oil is quantitative measure of So this is unsaturation. Yeah. Because in a fatty acid chain may mga branches dun. and if the more na double bonded the more unsaturated unsaturated siya so yung ginagawa ni iodine is bini break niya yung mga branches or yung bonding pala sorry <laughs> yeah yung mga bonding and the more na mas mataas yung iodine value mas ma taas yung number of kailangan niya i-break na bonds therefore mas mataas yung unsaturation Analysis were in the constituent of a sample are separated and then the product is weight. Weight. Kapag yung sample is kailangan i kunin and i weigh, that would be gravimetric. B. The number of milligram of potassium hydroxide needed to neutralize the free acid and saponify the ester in one gram of oil or fat. Ang alam ko basta potassium hydroxide that would be ester. Eh. Oh, so phonification value. <gasps> Ito ba yung nasa quiz kanina? Fini ko na mali ako dun. Ah, okay. So, kapag in-neutralize the free acid and saponify ester. Since may ester na, so technically hindi na siya ester. So, this is a phonification value. Okay, this one is a computation. I cannot show you the solution. So, let's skip that. The ester value determination of substance is applicable to the following except alcohols. So the most effective chemical substance in removing stains of potassium permanganate would be oxalic acid. A. Pag, pag removing of uh, potassium Um, permanganate would be oxalic acid for a while in it not really.
Okay. Some of you might know na meron akong dance cover Facebook page. So, currently, uh, nag-aaral ako ng Les Seraphim. I'm fearless. So, I'm so LSS sa kantang yan. Puchulungyan. Puchulungyan. <laughs> Song or yan? Okay, let's proceed. The following are indicators used for acid-based titration except Ferric alum. C. Yes, correct. C. And accurately, oh, e, parang e, review natin. Kapag methyl red, ah, sorry, methyl orange, ang acid color niya would be pink? Tama ba? Pink nga ba? Or red? Nakakalito yun eh. Kasi, tapos yellow yung pag base niya. Then it would be colorless going to uh, to pink or, uh, sorry, red. To red. Yan, tama. Methyl orange would be pink to yellow. Phenolphthalein would be colorless to red. Ferric alum is not. It's, it's a metal. And methyl red is red to yellow. Ginamit namin yung methyl red last time. If you uh, can see in my vlog, uh, we use uh, methyl red for uh, the assaying of zinc oxide. An accurately measured sample of hydrogen peroxide was dissolved in a mixture of 20 ml water and 20 ml diluted sulfuric acid and was titrated with 0.1 and potassium permanganate consuming. Uh, it's a competi competition pala. Next, residual method titration with disodium edentate VS or volumetric solution is applicable to what? Metal ion. That would be aluminum. Chemical reaction that involve a charge in the valence number of reacting substances charge so may charge siya that would be oxidation reduction a process wherein the sample is made to liberate iodine iodine liberate iodine which is then titrated with the standard solution of sodium thiosulfate <laughs> medyo halata kasi kasi dalawa yung choices dito so that would be iodometry pag sodium thiosulfate ang volumetric solution that would be uh, iodometry and kapag um, iodimetry that would be iodine a burette with glass and stop cup and can be used for acids iodometry is an a indirect analysis of iodo do o o o oxidizing agent malic acid present in cherry juice may be determined by nasa permanganometry yan para na sure kung direct or ano hmm. that would be indirect permanganate oxidation method the unsaponified matter present in animal fat is pag unsaponified is cholesterol the bisulfate method is used to the assay of volatile oils to determine bisulfate aldehyde pag bisulfate kasi determination of aldehyde and ketone siya. the crude fiber of a drug usually consists of crude fiber fiber of a drug so that would be came in coming from an, a plant so that would be cellulose and phenol content determination okay this determines the shelf life of a product stability testing this is shelf life the amount of dissolved drug can be determined by the dissolved drug the solution duster trace minerals is an multivitamin preparation can be acid faster by atomic absorption spectrophotometer okay kapag atomic absorption that will be f 
from lower to higher energy level kapag atomic or proton emission that would be from emission so higher to lower energy level it's the potency of okay next na lang yan. inspection of spe, inspection <laughs> inspection station are placed in the following areas except analytical laboratory in the microbial assay of antibiotic the microorganism used for PENG PENG is staphylococcus aureus the expiration date is the direct application it is the direct application of an interpretation of knowledge gained from the stability testing and it is used to limit the period during which preparation may be expected to have a labeled potency provided it has been stored and as directed so a and b are correct what i not consider is a, what can not be considered as a primary packaging primary packaging are the one that have a contact with the product so if not would be the packer box lang yung box yung carton hindi siya nagko-contact sa product kasi may blisters pa may alum or whatever drug substances that are withheld from the distribution until batch certification from FDA has been received yeah antibiotics dapat may certificate i forgot yung name basta may certificate dapat yun Factors that can be manipulated to accelerate instability. Temperature, moisture, and light. So, all of the above. My camera is falling down, so I'm sorry. I'm holding on it. You should... Diyan ka lang. Meron pala tayo mga viewers. I'm so sorry, hindi ko kayo nakikita. Thank you, Water, for 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 answering. Yeah, mahirap ang pharmaceutical analysis, especially if you did not um experience it. Yun yung ano ko ha, yun yung observation ko. Kasi kasi naalala ko lang siya kasi ginawa namin siya sa laboratory like recently we assayed zinc oxide so alam ko na ang, ang uh, you can use residual titration there and yung first uh, titrant would be sulfuric acid and second would be the sodium hydroxide so yun naalala ko siya like legit naalala ko siya dahil nagawa namin siya and uh, yeah it's really hard if you will just imagine it. So I hope sa mga future pharmacy students dyan na mararanasan nyo siya so mag-face to face na kayo ganun. So the presence of a cotton fiber in a liquid preparation is considered as so pag may cotton fiber kasi di ba makikita, makikita mo siya kung meron siya sa preparations that would be ocular kasi visually you can see it materials to be sampled include the following except parang na, na ano na natin to kanina <gasps> thank you water i like your name water h2o it's it's so simple common yet unique <laughs> Thank you, pero I can say na parang mga nasa 30% pa lang yung confidence level ko. <laughs> Kasi honestly, hindi pa ako nag-aaral ng matino sa lagay na to. I'm so distracted and stuff. Especially with the election. <laughs> An analyst who determines the strength, potency, and percentage purity of a drug 
or pharmaceutical product is performing percentage purity that would be assaying pharmaceutical assaying or letter C ang keywords dito is that if you're trying to get the concentration of the drug or the pharmaceutical product that would be standardization but if you want to get the percentage purity that would be assay So the chemical factor used in calculation of percent purity of a product or oh, sorry of a substance in volumetric analysis that will be percent purity. Hmm. You need the molecular uh, the equivalent molecular weight, the sorry the mech weight and the tighter kasi yung molarity is the concentration in the instrument used in measuring sorry nakikita yung sagot measuring the optical activity of the samples to madali lang to kasi optical lang naman That would be polarimeter. Polarimeter, kasi optical. In azeotropic method for water analysis, the solvent that can we use is our silene. And toluene. Nagdududa ng toluene. Ito rin kasi yung lumabas ko is namin kanina, pero nag, nag impulsive pindot ba ako? Kasi parang hindi, silin lang yun yung ko dun. <laughs> Whatever. Adsorption indicators are used in, yeah, pag may adsorption, that's precipitimetry. Kasi, di ba, pag may precipitate, <laughs> precipitant, oh, ganun. Pag may precipitate ka, that would be insoluble, and dapat hindi siya nagmimix, so you need an adsorption indicator, so that it's in the surface. The moisture content of a drug may be water of hydration and water in absorbed form. Water of emulsion, wala namang ganun. The indicator used in permanganate titration. Indicator use. So, if it's in permanganate titration or the permanganometry, the volumetric solution would be potassium permanganate, KMnO4. So, the indicator of uh, disodium adenate, VS, direct hydration, and calcium carbonate. Oh, yeah. The hydroxy naphthol blue. And the volatile oils are a complex compound composed of the following. fatty acids. As you can see, para siyang may mix of biochem and mix of pharmaceutical dosage form because that's how board exam really works. Like, mag-jump jump yung mga topics from every modules and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Char. I kind of want to end this live now because <laughs> I really want to make it a uh, 13 30 minute live long and I'll try to link this backup green reviewer in the description later after the video will be rendered and it will be posted online but yeah since there's no viewer naman at the as of the moment I guess mm -hmm. I could end this live now. So if you're going to see this uh, or watch this again, thank you for watching. Thank you for um, being with me. Tinsa mga nag 
nag-stay and also nagbumisita. Ayan. Shout out kay Zian Tagik. Hmm? Ah, yes po. Meron na Yes po, sa Gapang Pharma. I actually printed yung... Tama ba? Gapang, Pha Gapang Pharma yung GP. I printed it. And it's really useful kasi naka ano siya. Naka... Oh, nag-change na kasi. 6.30 na. Ito yung... Ito siya, di ba? Gapang Pharma. It's really use useful kasi nga naka naka table type na siya water ah uh, taker ka rin ba ng ano ng taker ka rin ba ng November PHLE magte take ka rin ba ng November pharmacy licensure exam Magkaedad lang ba tayo, water? <laughs> Meron actually akong um mm, 2023 pa. Okay. Ano school mo? Good luck. Sana magapasa tayong lahat. Sana dumami ang pharmacist dito sa Pilipinas. Ano school mo, Water? All full. Okay, hello. Nice to meet you virtually. I think I I think all full yung nag-host ng National Patient Counseling. Nag <laughs> sumali kasi ako dun. A nice one. Yay. May study Twitter ako. It's at Jemai Magonda. Pero actually, hindi ako masyadong magaling mag mag ano dun. Kasi nagpo-post lang ako ng mga pahop reviewers. That's my Twitter account. So, if you want to add me, if you have a Discord and ganon, bahana man, you can top me. Major toxic kasi sa social media ngayon because of bakit umatas yung camera? Because of ano um election, so I tried to sway away from the social media right now. Thank you. Actually, di naman sa ano, pero medyo easy pa yung naman tayo yung iPad ko. Yan. Medyo easy pa yung ano, yung nandito. And, mm -mm. Kasi more of QC, QA. Mahirap talaga ang computation sa module 6. Uy! Nahulog na. Ayun. Thank you, Water, for staying and for having a little chit-chat with me. I'm going to end na this uh, live stream if you have nothing anymore to say. And thank you for uh, supporting my channel. Laban lang. Fighting. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.